NFL Daily is presented by Manscaped, one of my favorite sponsors we have here at Chat Sports. You can get started and get 20% off at Manscaped if you go to manscaped.com slash chat. I'm going to tell you all a little bit more about them here in just a few minutes. Guys, take care of some business and help your, your significant other out. All right, let's go through the free agency tracker of all the moves that have happened today. Miles Killebrew, he signed a two-year, $6.5 million deal on NFL free agency day four. Harrison Smith, he is headed back to the Minnesota Vikings. Jameson Crowder moving out to Washington. Offensive tackle Jonah Williams inked a two-year, $30 million deal. 19 of that is guaranteed in this one right here. Joe Flacco, the NFL Comeback Player of the Year not too long ago. He got off the couch and said, you know what? I'm going to go sling the rock and go win a handful of football games because I missed that thing. 60.3 completion percentage, 1,600 yards, 13 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. He helped keep the Browns' playoff hopes alive. He helped the Browns' offense stay alive. And on top of that, he's now headed out to Indianapolis where he'll back up Anthony Richardson. I like this move for the Colts. It's pretty fun to see Flacco back out on the field. Sheldon Rankin's a big-bodied guy who spent – uh, last year with the Houston Texans, a really nice run stopper. Two years, $26 million deal for the Cincinnati Bengals. And Nick Westbrook Akini, deal with the Titans. You got CJ Mosley inking a two year, $17.25 million deal, 13 and a quarter. That is guaranteed. You've seen a lot of those kind of contracts two years, 17.25, 13 and a quarter guaranteed. That's a very similar contract we've seen to a lot of players getting. This offseason. And on top of that, Von Bell. He is headed to Cincinnati. He's a really talented player. He's kind of been around the league a little bit. Spent time with the Saints, the Panthers, the Bengals. Headed back to Cincinnati. I think that that's a solid move for the Bengals. Trying to compete in a really talented AFC conference. And they got to get over the hump of Patrick Mahomes. All right. So give him some credit, everybody. Which team has had the best free agency so far? I hate to be that guy. I hate to admit it. The people who subscribe to my channel, this is going to hurt me to say this, but the Falcons. The Falcons have had an incredible offseason so far. They've had a really good free agency. Uh, my honorable mention is the Washington Commanders, but I want to know what you have to say in the comment section. Storm Norton is a familiar face that was with the Atlanta Falcons last year. He's headed back to Atlanta. At, in joining him is Kaderil Hodge. Deshaun Elliott. He's headed up to the Steel City. And Josh Johnson, the NFL journeyman, he is headed back to Baltimore to play backup quarterback. Nathan Peterman, speaking of backup QBs, he's going to be competing with Jake Hayner in the quarterback room for New Orleans to be the quarterback too. I think he's a solid option for quarterback three. It's a vet minimum deal. It's going to be about $1.2 million considering it's the seventh year in the league. Desmond Ritter, this was a move that shook some things up. He got traded to the Cardinals for Rondale Moore. Now, Ritter was interesting, and he was an intriguing prospect coming out of Cincinnati. He took the Bearcats to the college football playoff. But when he got to the league, it just never quite worked out. He had a 2-2 two and two record in 2022, 6-7 record in 2023. They started Taylor Heineke. They were starting uh, Marcus Mariota in 2022. Like, there was just crazy things going on. The Falcons offense the last couple of years just could not get their leader. They could not figure out their quarterback. So maybe he'll have a better uh, chance at being more productive in Arizona as the backup for Kyler Murray. Of course, if Kyler can't play again this year, then Desmond Ritter will get some run. Now, Jerry Tillery, a former first round pick, headed up to Minnesota. Joey Bosa, is reuniting with his running mate in Khalil Mack down in, or out in Los Angeles on the West Coast. Now, this guy, he's had a really tough time staying on the field the last two years. Only six, only thir 14, excuse me, I'm bad at math, 14 games played in the last two seasons. But when he's been on the field, he's put up some decent numbers, but nothing compared to what Khalil Mack has done. Last year, he had 17 sacks. He had eight sacks in 2022, six sacks in just seven games played in 2021, and nine sacks in 2020 with the Bears. I like that they're keeping that defensive line intact in Los Angeles. Uh, Jesse Minner, the new defensive coordinator, should have a field day with those guys. Jordan Lewis, a defensive back, a cornerback for the Dallas Cowboys. He's re-signing for a one-year deal. Tershawn Wharton, one year, $2.75 million. 
fully guaranteed. And Kendall Fuller, moving from Washington to the nation's capital, trading in some of that stuff for some Hawaiian shirts heading down to South Beach. He did have a decent season last year. Nine pass breakups, two interceptions. The quarterback rating when targeted is a little high for me, but I also understand that the Commanders didn't have the best team last year. They also uh, gave up only 488 yards, which is a decent amount, but, you know, nothing too wild. Ray Ray McLeod, a speed stir, if I've ever seen one. He's headed out to Atlanta to join Kirk Cousins, Drake London, Kyle Pitts, uh, B. John Robinson, Darnell Mooney. Ray Ray McLeod can also offer some special teams value in DJ Reader. He is a run-stopping defensive tackle, moving from Cincinnati out to the Motor City. And I have some more names I want to go through here, but before I do that, I got to give a big-time shout-out to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. You can get 20% off and free shipping if you use our promo code CHAT when you, you go to Manscaped. So top of the morning to ya. This episode is brought to you by the St. Patrick's Day Shamrock Shavers Manscaped. This year, don't just chase Rambos. Make your own pot of gold and groom your little leprechaun with the leaders and the below-the-kilt care. Say goodbye to your clover forest with the Manscaped Lawnmower 5.0 and let your confidence shine bright. Embrace the luck of the Irish and join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. You head over to manscaped.com and use promo code CHAT. You can get 20% off plus free shipping one more time, the link is manscaped.com slash chat. Use that promo code chat. You get 20% off and free shipping. And not only do they help you out below the belt, they also help you out above the waist as well. I can tell you one thing. My girlfriend loves Manscaped, so I encourage you to check it out too. So Eric Armstead was a big-time addition for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Reports were coming in. that They were trying to bring back Calvin Ridley. However, the money that they didn't spend on him picked it up and moved it to Eric Armstead, just like Patrick Starr suggested that one time. Uh, in 2023, five sacks, four tackles for a loss. He has missed some time over the last couple of years, but he's a very underrated part of a very talented defensive line that has a Nick Bosa, that has a Javon Hargrave, that had Javon Kinlaw as well. I mean, he is a part of a really solid unit defensively, so of course the production might dip when you're having to try and split some time with Nick Bosa. But Sam Howell, a big-time trade that, su that shook some things up. He was traded for a third-round pick, number 78 overall, and a fifth-round pick, number 152 overall. In return, Seattle is getting the backup quarterback for Geno Smith. They're getting number 102 and number 179 overall. Worth noting, the Commanders now have six selections inside the top 100. Three of those are their own. Three of those were from trading Montez Sweat, Chase Young, and obviously Sam Howell. Well, let's talk about how a little bit more the former Tar Heel legend, he had a lot of buzz coming out of college, but once he finally got the ability to be a starting QB in this league, underwhelming. Uh, we made the joke earlier that he kind of had a Jameis Winston 30 for 30 season. Not quite. It was 21 and 21, but the decision-making, not great. Less than 4,000 yards. It's not horrible, but... Again, I feel like this isn't going to move the needle too much for uh, Seattle. I think he's a solid backup option. Honestly, if I was the Seahawks, I would have rather kept Drew Locke around, but we're not talking about Drew Locke today. We were talking about Desmond Ritter and Sam Howell, who are both on new teams, so pick the better quarterback. Think it's the one who took his team to the college football playoff, or do you think it's Sam Howell who did make a name for himself in the Carolina Blue? Just type R for Ritter, type H for Howell, and let me know in the comment section what you think. Devin Bush, he spent time with the Pittsburgh Steelers, spent a year with the Seattle Seahawks. He is now headed to the land to team up with Kevin Stefanski, Miles Garrett, and a really solid defensive unit there that also has Zedaria Smith returning. DJ Wodum, it's a two-year deal for the Carolina Panthers. I love this addition for Carolina. They need to stay competitive in the NFC South. It's a weak division, and I think that this can give them a little bit of a boost. C.J. Goodwin, he is headed on a one-year deal with the Cowboys. He's sticking around out there. The Cowboys have only made one signing uh, of an external player. So, get, figure it out, Jerry. And Tim Settle, it's a two-year, up to $7 million deal. But 
A big time update that we're getting in just a few moments ago, we got Joe Mixon. So he was traded to the Texans from the Bengals for a conditional seventh round pick. But he just signed an extension with Houston, and it's worth three years and $27 million. 13 of that is guaranteed. I think this is a really sneaky good move for Houston. They lost Devin Singletary in free agency. He's headed up to the Giants. But Joe Mixon can be a sneaky good addition for that offensive unit that has talent in Dalton Schultz, C.J. Stroud, Tank Dell, Damian Pierce. I think he's in a really good situation in Houston. And on top of that, I think that he can add a little bit of more of a pop to that offensive side of the ball that's really got things moving. Curtis Samuel, we got some news there for you as well. The Buffalo Bills inking a three-year, $24 million deal for the wide receiver. $15 million guaranteed. And this guy is... Pretty solid, if you ask me. Uh, he hasn't ever really had that breakout year. In 2020 with the Panthers, 850 yards. That's not bad by any means. I want to make that clear. But he just hasn't quite gotten over the hump. He hasn't quite broken out in the last handful of years. But with a better quarterback and a better situation in Josh Allen and the Bills offense, maybe that's something that can help him out as well. It also could take some pressure off of Stephon Diggs, Dawson Knox, Dalton Kincaid, all those guys out there as well who are pass catchers and Buffalo. So there you go. Name your favorite free agent left. Who is it? I want you guys to get down in the comment section. I can tell you mine, it's Justin Simmons. I really like that safety. I think he's a really good player. And if you're watching this and he got signed, I'll tell you what, it's probably a good move for whoever signed him. And guys, before we hop on out of here, I want to give a quick reminder to subscribe to Chat Sports for nonstop coverage all offseason long. We don't do just NFL. We don't do just NBA. We don't do just college sports. We do everything. So lock us in, subscribe today, so that way you can be a smarter fan of your favorite team.